One of my favorite works in the Hobart and William Smith art collection is the, uh, uh, this print, The Macarena of Miracles by Audrey Flack. She's an American artist. Uh, she's actually still alive, though she was born in 1931. She must be 85 or 86. Uh, she's uh, uh, one of the most interesting of the photorealists, uh, late 1960s and then into the 1970s movement of artists who um, painted. This is, uh, this is actually a print after a painting of hers um, that uh, really strove to create images that were photorealistic, that looked almost like photographs. Uh, some of them look even more uh, real than photographs. Um, she's very famous for a series of uh, images of her dr of dressing tables, of dresser tops, of the kinds of things that people carry in their pockets. Uh, I really like that series too. This one is an image of a um, it's actually based on a Baroque statue by a woman artist named Luisa Roldan, who uh, worked mainly in the south of Spain, in Sevilla. Um, and uh, Flack initially painted uh, a series of paintings of uh, the statues of Roldan, and then from those created prints. This was a 1971 print, after a 1971 painting that's in the Metropolitan Museum. Uh, this is a... a a really good example of the kind of interaction between an original object, uh, the statues in the statue in Sevilla, the painting uh, that happens to be in New York, uh, and then a print that I like to see when I'm thinking about art as a series of images of images of images. Um, a couple of years ago on sabbatical, uh, I was actually able to go to Sevilla and see the original statue, uh, which is really again, in its own way, kind of hyper-realistic. Uh, the sculptor uh, Roldan created not only, they're essentially life-size statues of figures, uh, but they're actually dressed in, they're carved clothing, but they actually have accessories that are real, for instance, crowns, or here in the original statue, the tears are actually tiny tears of crystal that have been attached to the face of the statue. And Flack really captures that, the way that the tears are both reflective so that they catch light, but also the way we see the flesh of the statue through them. Um, they're just marvelous things. And so these things that sort of float over her dress in the original statue are real pieces of jewelry that, are, that stand out and actually cast shadows back on her dress. There's one interesting uh, addition here. Uh, that's not on the original statue, which is the word esperanza, or hope, in Spanish, as though it's a pin that the figure, that the Virgin Mary is wearing on her chest. Uh, and we, then we have the wonderful play of the total flatness of parts of the background, just a flat application of color with a sort of brocaded cloth, and then the gold foil, of the, which is the crown, but also looks like architecture in the background. It's, uh, it makes me happy to have this in my office. It goes away occasionally for exhibitions, but I like it when it comes back.